Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. I'm Britt Erickson, Senior Editor at CNEN, and I will be moderating today's event. This webinar is titled Accurate and Confident Metabolic Profiling, Combining a Standardized and Quantitative Targeted Assay with High-Resolution Accurate Mass MS. It is being sponsored by Thermo Fisher Scientific. CNEN works with sponsors to identify topics of interest and value to CNEN's audience and consistent with CNEN's mission to provide news and analysis of the chemistry enterprise in a timely, accurate, and balanced fashion. During the webinar, you can adjust the size of the slides on your screen by grabbing the lower right corner with your mouse. If you need technical assistance, please use the Help widget at the bottom of the screen or type your query into the Q&A box. If you are disconnected during the webcast, please log in again according to the instructions you received earlier. You are encouraged to contribute to the success of this webinar by asking questions at any time during the presentation through the Q&A box on your screen. The questions will be answered at the end of the presentation, and as your moderator, I will be posing as many as time permits. Please note that CNEN does not endorse any company, products, or services that may be mentioned in the webinars, and that each webinar will be archived at CNEN online after the live webcast. The presentation today is being sponsored by Thermo Fisher Scientific, a leader in the life sciences industry. The company is committed to providing pioneering systems-wide metabolomic solutions to laboratories worldwide to address the challenges of biological research. With the most comprehensive separations and mass spectrometry portfolio and workflows, the company enables scientists to be on the leading edge of research. During the presentation, we will hear from Anastasia Kali, Strategic Marketing Specialist of Life Sciences Mass Spectrometry at Thermo Fisher Scientific. Anastasia has several years of experience in mass spectrometry, proteomics, and metabolomics. She holds a PhD in chemistry from the University of Michigan and completed postdoctoral research at the Division of Biology at California Institute of Technology. Prior to joining Thermo Fisher Scientific, Anastasia worked at the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles as a senior research associate in the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine. Anastasia joined Thermo Fisher Scientific as a demonstration chemist. In her current role as a metabolomics strategic marketing specialist, she focuses on targeted metabolomics workflow solutions. And we will also hear from Barbara Wolf. She's the knowledge manager and a biochemist at Biocrates Life Sciences, a biotechnology company in Innsbruck, Austria. At Biocrates, Barbara has gained expertise in the analysis and interpretation of metabolomics data. She is responsible for project coordination, scientific marketing, and interpretation of scientific data from various research areas. Barbara is a trained biologist with a focus on biomarker research. She has several years of research experience in molecular biology, as well as clinical oncology. She earned her PhD in molecular oncology from Medical University of Innsbruck in Austria. And before joining Biocrates, Barbara worked as a research assistant at the Department of Molecular Biology, Medical Biochemistry and Obstetrics and Gynecology of Medical University, Innsbruck. And with that introduction, I will now hand it over to Anastasia to get us started. Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar in which we will discuss how we have Cabo, a standardized and quantitative essay with high-resolution accurate mass, mass spectrometry. For today's webinar, I will start with an introduction to targeted metabolomics analysis and present recent advances through specific examples. I will also discuss the challenges in metabolomics analysis and how standardized solutions and high resolution accurate mass, mass spectrometry can help us to overcome these challenges. We will present data showcasing the excellent analytical performance of the Biocrates 
Absolute IDQ P400 Azure Kit analyzed with the QExactive or Ptrap MS. Finally, I will conclude this presentation. The metabolic phenotype of an individual is unique and fluctuates due to genetic and environmental factors, as well as age, disease, lifestyle, nutrition, and medication. By analyzing the metabolome of an individual, we obtain a readout of the physiological status, disease risk response to a particular therapy or drug, and also environmental exposure. These metabolic profiles provide information that can be applied to precision medicine and public health care. Now let's look on how we perform metabolomics analysis, both qualitatively and quantitatively, to obtain information about the metabolome. Both targeted and untargeted approach are applied for metabolomic analysis. Untargeted metabolomic analysis aims on the analysis of all detectable metabolites present in a sample. Targeted metabolomics focuses on the measurement of a predefined set of metabolites. Furthermore, targeted metabolomics is very often used to validate and expand upon the results obtained from untargeted analysis. Targeted and untargeted approaches can be characterized by the number of detected metabolites and the reliability of quantitation defined as accuracy of absolute quantitation or precision. Quantitation is performed by the use of a multipoint calibration curve with the use of an authentic internal standard or a similar structure internal standard. In cases in which authentic or similar internal standards are not available, quantitation is performed with the use of a non-similar internal standard. Furthermore, quantitation can be achieved by normalizing to a corresponding isodoblabel internal standard or a corresponding class-specific internal standard. The higher accuracy is theoretically achieved when an authentic or a similar structural internal standard is used. Now let's have a closer and more detailed look at targeted metabolomics workflows for detecting and quantifying a predefined set of metabolites. Targeted metabolomics approaches are very often driven by a specific biochemical question or hypothesis. With targeted metabolomic analysis, the sample preparation and LCMS analysis can be optimized for the specified list of metabolites of interest. Following detection of the metabolites, quantitation is performed based on internal standards to obtain concentration values. By the targeted metabolomics approach, we can quantify key metabolites that are relevant to physiological, pathological processes and environmental exposure, or quantify key metabolites that are disease-specific markers. In many cases, we transition from an untargeted approach to a targeted metabolomics workflow in order to obtain absolute concentration values and assess full changes for those metabolites that are significantly altered between groups. For example, we start with a global analysis of the sample of interest, and by statistical analysis, we identify metabolites that are significantly altered, for example, down or upregulated between different sample groups. Once the significantly altered metabolites have been identified, a targeted metabolite list is created, and quantitation is performed with the use of a multi-point calibration curve and internal standards. Now let's focus on some examples of targeted analysis as well as examples to show how we combine untargeted and targeted profiling. In the first case study example, a novel workflow integrating targeted metabolic profiling by isotope dilution mass spectrometry and non-targeted fingerprinting was employed 
to examine metabolic phenotypes of drug sensitive versus drug resistant SW48 human colon carcinoma cell lines. Iron chromatography with high resolution mass spectrometry was used for analysis. Fully carbon-13 label cell extracts were used to address standardization and enable absolute quantitation. A clear clustering between drug resistant and drug sensitive SW480 cancer cells was revealed by PCA in a non-targeted data evaluation. The targeted approach allowed absolute quantitation and revealed differences in the absolute concentrations of the metabolites that were significantly altered between the two groups. In the second example we present here, global profiling followed by targeted analysis was employed to assess metabolic changes in the blood during circulation by analyzing pair arterial versus venous human plasma of 20 individuals. Untargeted metabolite analysis was initially performed to reveal the metabolites whose levels were significantly different between arterial and venous plasma. These metabolites and their counterparts from related biochemical pathways were further analyzed using a targeted approach. Several metabolites such as glutamate, lactate, aspartate, and sialic acid varied significantly after blood circulation as validated by the targeted analysis. In the third example we will discuss today, a targeted LCMSMS method was utilized for identifying metabolite biomarker candidates for CRC. 158 metabolites were selected for monitoring based on established knowledge from previous investigations. A total of 234 serum samples were investigated from three different study groups. 66 samples were from individuals with CRC, 76 samples from individuals with polyp, and 92 were healthy controls. Metabolites from central carbon metab uh, metabolic pathways and amino acid, purine, and pyrimine metabolic pathways were significantly altered. Overall, a panel of 13 serum metabolites was identified for differentiating CRC and healthy control, and a panel of 14 serum metabolites were identified for differentiating CRC and polyp status subjects. The next example demonstrates the development of a three-minute high-throughput targeted quantitative assay for profiling and quantitating central carbon and nitrogen pathways metabolites using high-resolution accurate mass or PTRAP MS. The suitability of the method was demonstrated for examining metabolic phenotypes from a wide range of biological matrices such as culture cells, human, mouse biofluids, and tissue extracts. In terms of performance, the method showed great reproducibility with, for example, an interday CV of 2.7 over 1,200 injections, as well as excellent linearities for the examined metabolites. It was concluded that the method is linear, reproducible, selective, sensitive, and robust for the analysis for central carbon and nitrogen metabolites. The robustness of the method made it applicable to the analysis of a wide range of biological matrices. Now let's move to the next example in which a targeted metabolomics assay based on uh, ion chromatography mass spectrometry was employed for the analysis of head and neck cancer cells and also for cancer stem-like cells and non-stem cancer cells. Absolute quantitation of the targeted metabolites was performed with the use of stable isotope label internal standards. Using this method methodology, it was demonstrated that metabolic phenotypes are distinct between high 
and low invasive head and neck cancer cell lines, as well as between cancer themselves and non-stem cancer cells. Furthermore, the targeted metabolomics approach allowed absolute quantitation of the metabolites of interest. Why we apply targeted metabolomics to a wide range of application areas, we also, at the same time, need to consider and evaluate the challenges of such analysis. Such challenges include standardization, which is especially crucial when dealing with large sample sites like large cohort studies. In addition to standardization and large sample sets, in many cases, no quality control or a poor quality control is used. Reproducibility, including both analytical method reproducibility, sample preparation reproducibility, as well as inter- and intra-laboratory reproducibility, is another major challenge in, tar in targeted metabolomics applications. As shown uh, in this example, poor reproducibility results in non-consistent and high RSD values during analysis of the same analyte. Lastly, Lack of selectivity and specificity is another challenge. Lack of selectivity and specificity results in poor linearity during quantitation and therefore poor method accuracy. It is also very important to know that standardization refers to sample preparation, quality control, analysis method, internal standards, as well as method validation. As it was very nicely pointed out in a recent paper of the metabolomics community, without standardization, there will be no ability to take data across sites and compare integrate. Now that we have discussed standardization and reproducibility, let's see an example which demonstrates how a standardized assay enables large cohort and longitudinal studies. The Biocratis Absolute IDQ P180 and P150 kits were utilized in a large cohort study to evaluate the effect of metformin treatment on metabolite concentration in serum samples. It was shown that three metabolites were significantly decreased in study subjects with type 2 diabetes after treatment with metformin. Furthermore, a longitudinal study was performed over a period of seven years, and it was shown that the level of the three metformin-associated metabolites were significantly decreased in individuals who underwent metformin treatment during follow-up. In addition, it was also shown that reduction of this metabolite was associated with a lower blood level of LDL cholesterol. The high interlaboratory reproducibility of the Biocratis P180 kit was demonstrated in a recent publication in six different participant laboratories. 85% of the total measured metabolites had a media interlaboratory precision of less than 20%, with 123 metabolites exhibiting interlaboratory CVs of less than 10%. Furthermore, the accuracy of the assay was assessed with the NIST reference material, and it was shown that for 18 out of 19 metabolites, accuracy was within 20%. Overall, it was demonstrated that the data that was generated was highly reproducible across multiple laboratories, and it was concluded that the metabolomics data generated in different laboratories using the standardized assay can be directly combined and therefore facilitate large-scale integrated studies. In collaboration with Biocratis Life Sciences, we have combined a standardized and reproducible assay with high-resolution accurate mass spectrometry and introduced the absolute IDQ P400 HR kit 
developed for the Q-Extractive Orbiter platform. As Barbara will discuss in details in the second part of this webinar, the P400 HR kit delivers a standardized quality control, high throughput reproducible and quantitative assay. The Q-Extractive Orbiter MS provides unique and broad metabolite and lipid coverage combination with the P400 HR kits allowed for multiplex and quantitative metabolomics. As we have seen from previous examples, the QX Active Orbit Trap allows accurate, reliable, and reproducible quantitation. Overall, the kit delivers a standardized and simplified workflow for targeted metabolomics analysis of key metabolites relevant to pathophysiological processes. In the following slides, we will show a few examples demonstrating the analytical performance of the kit. We first look at the reproducibility of some selected examples of metabolites analyzed by the kit. The data was acquired on the QX active Orpitrap over three days and nine injections. We observed high interday reproducibility both before and after correction with the internal standard. RSDs of 9 to 11 percent were obtained before correction with the internal standard and as expected after correction with the internal standard, higher reproducibilities of 3 to 5 percent were obtained. In addition to the high reproducibility, very good linearities and accuracies are obtained, as for example is shown here for glutamate, threonine, and serotonin. Linearities of higher than 0.99 and percent difference of 0.2 to 12 percent are obtained. The kit delivers excellent analytical precision in LCMS analysis across different QX active platforms. The CVs of all detected metabolites in LCMS were calculated for six different instruments in three different laboratories with six individual human plasma samples. As illustrated, for the majority of the MS platform, a CV of less than 15% was obtained, and for all MS platform, a CV of, was, of less than 20% was observed. Similar results are obtained for the metabolites analyzed with flow injection MS. Across different QX active instrument platforms tested, the analytical precision is within 25% in flow injection analysis. Overall, in this presentation, we have seen that targeted metabolomics analysis allows detection and quantitation of key metabolites in physiological and pathological processes. Also, recent applications of high-resolution accurate MAT Orpitrap MS demonstrated the excellent performance of this platform for accurate quantitation in targeted metabolomics applications. Finally, standardized workflows with the absolute IDQ P400 HR kit and Orpitrap MS provide a reproducible and quantitative assay for accurate and confident metabolic profiling. By that, I will thank my colleagues at Thermo Fisher Scientific and our collaborators at Biogradis Life Sciences, and I'll leave it to Barbara to discuss in more details the P400 HR kit and the advantage that it provides for targeted metabolic and lipid profiling. Thank you, Anastasia, for the kind introduction. And I would like to welcome you to the second part of the webinar presented by um, Biocrates Life Sciences. And in the next 30 minutes, you will learn more about the accurate and confident metabolic phenotyping by combining a standardized and quantitative targeted assay with high-resolution accurate mass orbitrack technology. First, you will get some background information about standardized quantitative targeted metabolomics before we will continue with the introduction of our newest product, the Absolute IDQ P400HR kit. 
You will hear about the metabolite portfolio covered by the kit, the required instrumentation, the kit components, and then we will go through the kit workflow step by step. Next, we will have a look at the analytical performance of the kit. And finally, we will learn about the biological interpretation of data and possible applications. So we start with some background information. Biocrates is a biotech company based in Innsbruck, Austria, with more than 15 years of experience in targeted metabolomics and is a global leader uh, in the kit technology, which is documented by over 800 publications by our customers. We provide fully integrated mass spectrometry-based solutions for targeted metabolic phenotyping. And after bringing the world's first metabolomics kit on the market in 2008, we now offer several kits and services for the quantitation of more than 800 endogenous metabolites. And we also offer the statistical analysis and the biological interpretation of your results. And altogether, this enables you to perform for example, hypothesis-driven biomarker research in preclinical, clinical, and epidemiological research. So, as we all know, the metabolism of an individual is influenced by several co-founding factors. These are exogenous and endogenous factors. Exogenous factors include, for example, the exposition to external pathogens, microbiota, lifestyle and nutrition, the environment, but also drug treatment. And the endogenous factors comprise um, somatic changes, for example, the genetic alterations, but also regulation on the epigenetic and transcriptional level. And I also want to highlight the disposition of an organism. This includes the immune system, the blood group, the gender, and the age and acquired factors like the metabolic homeostasis and immune response. And as we focus on the analysis of biofluids like blood and urine, we have a systemic readout of the metabolism of an individual or a group of individuals, and but assess not only the current physiological status, but can also evaluate the risk to develop a certain disease or the response to a particular therapy. And thereby, we see that meta measuring metabolites um, with our quantitative kits um, make up for surrogate markers for individual phenotyping. When we directly compare the two principal approaches in metabolomics, untargeted and targeted metabolomics, we will clearly see that targeted metabolomics may overcome certain challenges faced by untargeted approaches. And in most cases, both approaches complement each other. In a typical untargeted approach, the signals are all unknown and non-annotated features. Whereas in targeted metabolomics, on the other hand, you exclusively deal with fully annotated and identified metabolites. In untargeted metabolomics, you then have to match the signals to a database. However, you will by far never get a 100% annotation. But with our kits, you right away obtain quality control data in a uniform data format. This is thanks to the standardized and automated workflow, which is also guided by our workflow manager software. The analysis of 80 samples, including statistical analysis, takes, in the case of an untargeted approach, several weeks and requires profound knowledge of an experienced scientist. While in targeted metabolomics with our kits, this takes only 30 hours and can be fully accomplished by a technical assistant. And finally, with our kits, you obtain absolute concentrations, which are comparable between instruments, between laboratories and even studies, and they are fully reproducible and can be merged even with other data sets. And on the other hand, with untargeted metabolomics, you get no quantitative results, only fold changes, and your final data is not comparable, not producible, and cannot be merged with other data sets. 
And when it comes to the coverage of metabolites, we all know that untargeted metabolomics still wins the numbers game, even though targeted solutions catch up more and more. In targeted approaches, there is a bias only in the pre-selection of the metabolites, but um, but then you definitely know at which metabolites you look at. In untargeted assays, um, um, you only have you have a bias in the sensitivity, meaning that the untargeted assays are less sensitive than the targeted ones, and there are many remaining unknown metabolites. So untargeted approaches are suited for individual discovery studies, whereas targeted metabolomics with our kids can be used in both discovery as well as in validation studies. And the kids can perfectly be used for longitudinal studies and large prospective or retrospective studies. And this is also why we are part of many funding projects from various scientific fields. Uh, I want to highlight two here, one from the field of neurology. Um, this is the ADNI consortium. It comprises uh, three different cohorts, the ADNI 1, GO, and 2. And it deals with the early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. And in this study, more than 800 serum samples from Alzheimer patients were measured with our kits. And the results were evaluated in two other cohorts. And another example I want to highlight um, is the Biomarker project from the cardiology field. And it deals with the, the identification of biomarkers for cardiovascular risk assessment. And this EU project, over 20,000 samples were measured with our kids within a year. And in collaboration with Thermo, there was even built up metabolomics laboratory from the scratch. And besides that, also, many epidemiological cohorts have already been analyzed with our kit technology. Among them is the well-known large cohort CORA from Augsburg, Germany, which comprises several sub-cohorts from different time points. Altogether, it comprises 18,000 participants, and the study has a focus on diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. So up to now, we focused uh, mainly on triple quadruple mass spectrometry and offered three kits for standardized quantitative metabolic phenotyping, the Absolute IDQ P180 kit, the Bile Acids kit, and the Stero 17 kit. And now, we proudly introduce our newest family member, the Absolute IDQ P400HR. It has been developed for Thermos Orbitrap technology and released this year. It represents the worldwide first kit solution for high resolution accurate mass spectrometry and it allows you to measure 220 additional lipids compared to the P180. So next we will have a closer look at the kit. So the Absolute IDQ P400HR kit allows for broad metabolic and lipid profiling. In more detail, it enables the unique quantification of up to 408 endogenous metabolites from 11 metabolite classes, including 365 lipids and 43 small molecules. The small molecules comprise amino acids, biogenic amines, and hexoses. The polar lipids comprise phosphatidylcholines, lysophosphatidylcholines, single myelins, ser and ceramides, and the neutral lipids are comprised of acid carnitines, diglycerides, triglycerides, and cholesterol esters. In order to run the kit, one of the standard Orbitrap instruments um, is required. You either can use the Q-Exactive Focus, the q -exact, the classical Q-Exactive, the Q-Exactive Plus, or the Q-Exactive HF. And at this point of the webinar, I claim that the benefits of the P400HR kit are that it is a ready-to-use quantitative kit for Q-Exactive platforms. It allows for high-throughput analysis from only 10 microliter sample volume. It features a simple and efficient automated workflow, and it represents a robust platform for longitudinal and interlaboratory comparability. 
And in the remaining part of the webinar, you will see how we will turn these claims into facts. To get an idea of the KIT workflow, we will now discuss the main steps before we will go through it in more detail. The whole workflow is guided by the proprietary workflow manager software MetIDQ, and the analysis of up to 82 samples takes only one and a half days. So first, you register your samples, then you design a plate layout and generate a work list in only half an hour. Then you go to the lab and prepare your samples and the instrument in roughly four hours. Then you run your samples overnight, and the next day you do the quantification, the data processing, and the technical validation, and as well as the data evaluation and the exportation in only one and a half hours. After that, you perform your statistical tests and interpret your results. On demand, the statistical analysis and the biological interpretation can also be carried out by bureaucrats. Next, we will have a look at the components of the kit. The kit provides all specific reagents and consumables required, including two patented 96 well filter plates, the internal standards, seven calibration standards, three quality controls, and an instrument suitability test mix. With the kit, you will also get all necessary methods and protocols on a USB stick. This is the, the sample preparation protocol and all instrument-specific acquisition as well as quantitation methods. And last but not least, also our proprietary workflow manager software, MetIDQ, is provided on the stick, and it easily guides you through the whole automated and standardized kit process step-by-step and it performs an automated technical validation, ensuring reliable and reproducible results. So taken together, the Absolute IDQ P400 HR kit provides all components in one box. It is ready to use as it can be installed in your lab within only one day. It is user-friendly and the whole process is standardized and quality controlled. It requires only 10 microliters of your pressure sample, and it is validated for human plasma as well as tested for other matrices from other species. We will next go through the whole process guided by the workflow manager software MedIDQ in more detail. As a first step, you will register your samples in the LIMS system and easily design a plate layout as exemplified on the right-hand side. Then a work list is generated, and then you can pr even print out a pipetting plan. The measurement of your samples is followed by the quantitation and data processing. Therefore, MetIDQ automatically identifies and quantifies the instrument signals and subsequently the results of the liquid chromatography part are merged with those of the flow injection analysis. As a next step, MetIDQ performs an automated technical validation. This is done by displaying the generated data transparently and by approving the plate analytically. This is MetIDQ monitors the purity of the system by checking the blank. It monitors the accuracy and precision of the measurements by checking all quality controls. And it monitors the sensitivity of the results by checking the internal standard intensities. After the successful technical validation, the data can be evaluated and exported. If you have more than one plate, then you can optionally normalize your data. For exportation, we offer a wide range of export formats for the subsequent statistical analysis with various platforms like Excel, R, SPSS, Metabo Analyst, and others. To get a first impression of your data, you can also perform statistical analysis by the optional MetIDQ stat pack module. It covers basic statistics, and you can easily visualize your data by generating, for example, box plots or AUC curves. So taken together, the KIT workflow is a transparent, automated, and guided process, eventually providing quantitative results. You may benefit 
from the reduced complexity of the kit workflow, which ensures process safety. Uh, it is furthermore efficient and time-saving and guarantees high confidence in your results. So we next take a look at the analytical performance of the Absolute IDQ P400 kit. So to prove the accuracy and the precision of the measurement by the P400HR kit, we tested it against the NIST reference, standard reference material. And as you can see here in the plot, it showed very high accuracy and also very high precision. And this is only possible thanks to the quantitative um, results of our kit. And this is also what the community says. For example, David Bishard from the University of Alberta um, said that the field must become more quantitative if findings are to be translated to practical clinical applications. And just recently, Jules Griffin from the University of Cambridge said that if we could get over this barrier to not quantitate our data, then it will make exchanging data between laboratories and studies so much easier and we could really move forward as a community. And this is exactly what we demonstrated also next. We tested six individual human plasma across five to six instruments in three different labs. And for the liquid chromatography mass spectrometry part, this revealed an accuracy of 92 to 104% with a precision of only 4 to 15%. And in the case of the flow injection analysis part, the accuracy was 81 to 110% and the precision from 10 to 25 percent. So thereby, we could prove an outstanding inter-instrument as well as inter-laboratory comparability. Only last year, the Working Group for Precision Medicine of the Metabolomic Society published a white paper as a reaction to the Obama Healthcare Initiative for Precision Medicine. In this publication, they specifically emphasize the advantages of our kits in interlaboratory use. This is also what could be demonstrated in two recent independent ring trials. One was conducted with the Absolute IDQ P180 kit across six laboratories and three different instrument platforms. And the other one was based on our bile assays kit across 12 labs and four instruments. In both ring trials, the CV was below 10%. And this proves an excellent inter-instrument as well as interlaboratory comparability of our kit technology, thereby ensuring reliability and robustness of your results. And the first ring trial for the Absolute IDQ P400HR kit is already in progress. So in the last section of my presentation, we will have a look at the biological interpretation of your results and possible applications. Owing the broad lipid and metabolite coverage of 400 metabolites from 11 molecule classes, rich information on the metabolic state of a biological system is provided by the kit. A vast range of biological functions is covered by the kit. Acyl carnitines, for example, are linked to mitochondrial dysfunction, or amino acids, for example, are related to insulin resistance or oxidative stress. And lipids in general are known to be linked to inflammation and also to insulin resistance. So nowadays we understand more and more about the systemic links in a biological system and that Different diseases like cancer, diabetes, neurological disorders often result from a common dysfunction or deregulation. Especially insulin resistance seems to play a central role in many disorders. Alzheimer, for example, is nowadays sometimes even called a type 3 diabetes. One example how your results obtained from the kit that can be interpreted biologically is based on so-called rate-limiting enzymes. The metabolites in the kit are, were selected based to cover especially the rate-limiting enzymes highlighted in yellow on the right-hand right hand side. 
And a rate limiting step is defined as the slowest step of an enzymatic reaction that determines the rate at which the overall reaction proceeds. One example for such a rate limiting enzyme is the phospholipase A2, PLA2 whose activity can be ex- assessed by the ratio between lysophosphatidylcholines and phosphatidylcholines, which not only reflects the rate of synthesis of lysophosphatidylcholines, but also inflammatory processes. Another example is the enzyme indolamine 23 dioxygenase better known as IDO, which is expressed in most human tissue. It catalyzes the first and rate-limiting step of the tryptophan catabolism. Hence, its activity can be expressed by the ratio between the biogenic amine kynurinine and the amino acid tryptophan. IDO is known to be an important immune regulator as it has immune suppressive effects. And this is also why IDO activity is frequently upregulated in a wide range of human tumors, as IDO permits the tumor cells to evade the immune system. And therefore, IDO is a potent target for cancer therapies. I would also like to demonstrate the advantages of a broad lipid and metabolic coverage as provided by the new kit by a case study. In this collaboration with Professor Burwinkel from the Heidelberg University in Germany, plasma samples from 70 ovarian cancer patients and 150 healthy controls were analyzed. All metabolite classes contributed to the separation of case and control, as you can see from the AUC curves depicted on the left side. But it turned out that especially small molecules, in this case the amino acids and the acid carnitines, had the greatest power to separate ovarian cancer patients from healthy controls. So you see that lipids are not always enough. And the combination of several metabolites across metabolite classes may result in an even more powerful biomarker than uh, a single metabolite. So we see the future uh, in a generation of such uh, metabolic signatures and the um, absolute IDQ P400HR kit may be the perfect partner to do that. But metabolic signatures are actually not a new invention. Also, the metabolomics community confirms that measurements of single analytes will be replaced by far more comprehensive metabolic signatures. The first application of uh, metabolic signature was the newborn screening, which is nowadays clinically routine. The newborn screening is a panel of blood tests to assess various inborn errors of metabolism. For example, the diagnosis of phenylketonuria uh, is assessed by the ratio of uh, phenylalanine to tyrosine, And another example is MK deficiency, which is diagnosed based on the concentration of several acylcarnitine. And thanks to the quantitative analysis of these metabolites, cutoff values could be defined. And another example of an already known metabolic signature is the Fischer ratio. By dividing the sum of the branched-chain amino acids by the sum of the aromatic amino acids, the severity of liver failure can be evaluated. Upon a decrease in the ratio, the severity of the liver failure increases. Although the signature has been published already in the 70s, it has not yet made it into the clinical routine. A reason for that is that no clear cutoff values could have been defined so far. And this example shows that there are like many markers already out there that just need to be evaluated further, for example, in bigger cohorts that are available now. So to conclude today's webinar, we can summarize the following points covered in the second part of the talk. The Absolute IDQ P400HR kit is a ready-to-use solution designed for targeted metabolomics on Q-executive orbitrap high-resolution accurate mass spectrometry, and you are ready to go within a day, and there is no method development necessary. The kit provides quantitative results for up to 408 metabolites covering a broad range of biological functions. 
The kit delivers standardized quality, quality controlled and targeted assay for accurate and confident metabolic profiling. The simple, efficient, and automated workflow ensures high throughput and use of minimal sample volume of only 10 microliters. And last but not least, the robust platform together with the standardized procedures assures longitudinal and inter-lab comparability. So finally, the Absolute IDQ P400HR kit enables the standardized and reproducible quantitation of hundreds of lipids and small molecules for a broad lipid and metabolic profiling. And with this, I would like to thank all people from Biocritus and Thermo Fisher Scientific involved in this project. And for more information on our technology, please contact us. And thank you for attending this webinar, and we are now happy to take your questions. Okay, it's now time for the Q&A part of the webinar. As a reminder, to ask a question, please type your query into the Q&A box. And if we don't have time to answer your question during today's webinar, someone will follow up with you by email. So let's uh, look in the queue and see if we have any questions coming in. Uh, let's see, Barbara, how many samples can be run from one kit? Uh, so with one absolute IDQ P400 kit, you can run up to 82 samples. Okay, great. And let's see. Uh, what is the diet?